This right here is the filament spools screw box by 123MU, otherwise known as Zhang Mushing. And he made this available for everybody. And I've got to say, it's one of my favorite 3D prints. Um, I've been printing for a couple years. And you see, you print a whole lot of stuff, but this is very useful. Check it out. Each one has three drawers and his, uh, his file has several different sizes you can choose from so that you can get the right height or whatever. Um, but um, had to go to the hardware store and get <clears throat> screws that were long enough, three and a quarter inches. Um, and all they had was six inch, so I had to cut them all short. Um, and really the trick to making this correct is uh, getting these holes in the exact right place. Because if one is too far over, that makes them all too far over. Um, so they are all in the exact right place. If you'll look, you'll see how the inside touches the inside on every one of them until that one right there. That was the last one. And you can see it's got a little bit of play, but ever so little. Um, my goal was to have the outsides be the same all the way around. I think I got that. But uh, what I was going to say is the way that I got it was I would put one into place and then I got my um, soldering iron out and I would put the tip down right where it needed to be. And with the soldering iron, because it's hot, if it wasn't in the exact right space, I could just move it over to where I want it to be and then push it the rest of the way down until it was uh, through enough that I had a place to put my um, drill bit. So then I'd put that one in, I'd push it through all through three pieces, and then I would turn it around on the other side, make sure it was all lined up still, and then again with the... Uh, um, soldering iron to get that hole in the exact right place because if your if your bars are bent that won't be right either so but you can see I mean there's a little teeny tiny gap there but nowhere else uh, maybe a little there but I'd say that's about right um, I did lose one of my acorn screws so I have to go get another one of those but uh, other than that I'd say it turned out perfect I mean keep all kinds of stuff in there um, and when I first did it and you held it they would fall out and all you have to do is tighten your nuts up until it grabs it tight enough and you can adjust it so it grabs it as tight as you want but you can see now I mean that's beautiful you get every kind of screw in there you'd ever think of so very cool build um, it is definitely worth the time um, a, you got, uh, I did three pieces per stack, and there's six stacks, so you do the math, six times three. Um, so it took, uh, it took me about uh, two days total to, do that, to get everything done, but I'd say it's well worth it. Um, I'm going to keep all kinds of crap in there. I want to thank Zing for making it available to everyone. It's an awesome build. Uh, like I said, it's one of my favorite 3D builds I've ever done in the past two years. Um, so thank you very much for making it available. I appreciate you sticking around as long as you did. The build part of the video is coming up next, and I love you long time.